So one of the questions or one of the things that people say to me all the time is uh, how come you don't get mad? How come you don't get frustrated? <laughs> well, I absolutely freaking do. But I also have I also have hope. And that hope is not it's not delusional. It's based in reality. It, it's rooted in what is real and what surrounds me. So the first thing is uh, if we look to history and we look at the injustices of the past, um, if we look at women's rights, we look at slavery, we look at things like that. You know, if we step back and look at those things, history tells me that these things always, always get better and moral progress makes change. That's number one. Um, Another reason I have hope is because of the changes I see around me. So, um, lab grown meat is going to be a thing. Um, I reckon it's about to take off big stat, and that's going to save the suffering of absolutely billions of animals. Well, hopefully, anyway. So, I have hope for change that's based in science, and then. If we look to the food companies, we see so much good vegan or plant-based food around these days. Uh, you know, when I first went vegan, some of the some of the options that were available weren't too good. Uh, goodness, when I look back to when I stopped eating meat when I was a teenager, like oh, I remember eating was like a dry like soy mince in a packet thing, it was absolutely disgusting. So we have so many food innovations these days and you know companies, clothing companies I think like Birkenstock and Doc Martens doing uh, vegan ranges which is amazing. So we have that and then personal attributes. Uh, I have arms and legs. I can climb into a farm. Uh, I can uh, perhaps liberate an animal or I can plant a hidden camera and I can expose these assholes for the way that they treat animals. Um, and I have technology as well. So this camera that I'm holding right now, the sound equipment, I mean, 20, 30, 40 years ago, I wouldn't have had that opportunity. And then my computer at home, where I can upload videos onto the internet. Um, I mean, I when I talk to somebody on the street now, that's one person, but if I put a video online, well then, you know, there's a possibility for hundreds or even thousands of people to see that video. And of course I have a voice. That's the one I mean. Um, so I have a voice where I can speak up against these farms and these companies and these politicians who exploit, use and abuse animals without mercy or without a second thought. Uh, and I can use my voice to speak up against that and to speak to individual people and ask them to look into their heart and ask them if they really want to support this stuff. So yeah, I have hope, hope. And like I said, my hope is based and rooted in the reality of all those things. And I am never complacent because complacency would mean that I was pissed off about what's happening to animals and I would just sit at home and do nothing. So I'm not complacent. I get out there and I do what I can do myself. That's what I have control of, what I can do. And that's to go out and use my voice and use my body and use the small pieces of technology that I own to, to try and make a real difference for animals. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I would encourage you all to do the same and to never let, lose hope. Never ever lose hope. Let's get out there and fight these assholes uh, with everything that we have. And let's try and make a real difference. So that's my message today. Alright guys, I'm going to do some activism. I will talk to you soon.